Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot and thank you for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and check out my playlist for other tarot card readings available. Now, I haven't worked with the tea leaf cards lately, so give me a thumbs up if you want to see the tea leaf card readings twice a month. So this is your tea leaf fortune card reading for August mid-month 2021 for Sagittarius. So let's see what the message is for you, Sag, at this time mid-month. First, you have harp, great happiness. Next, desk, pay attention to your work. And broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. And your last card is Barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Okay, Sagittarius. Well, your first card and message here is Harp. And I'm picking up for you, Sagittarius, with this Harp card showing up is this is what you're searching for. Just a kind of inner happiness that can be found through spiritual love and contentment with your life. So it could be, as we kind of continue on with your reading, taking a good look at what, what in specific might be a block for this harp energy to be able to come into your life because I am picking up a block. So, let me just pull a clarifying card to see if we can get any indication as to what this black is that's preventing this great happiness from coming in, Sagittarius. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. This has to do with your money, how you make a living. It's the energy of how your money is steadily coming into you. So, could be an indication that in the area that's preventing you from achieving this happiness here in your life. So, definitely could have something to do with money. And this is Virgo's card and energy, so a Virgo individual could be involved in some manner. Okay, Sagittarius, so your next card is Desk. This could actually be in regards to your job, your career. This could be that you're working from home. Maybe it's your own business, or it can be in the workplace. But what the Desk card is an indication of Sagittarius is kind of a heavy workload. So it could be that you're not finding the happiness that this harp card, what that's indicating, as you're spending a lot of time in regards to your business or your job. And that certainly could have something to do with the Knight of Pentacles card. A Virgo individual could be a boss that is constantly giving you more and more work to do. And if you don't stay on top of it, you're in danger of actually losing your job. Next, you have Broken Bridge. And as we're progressing with your reading, we now have this card, Broken Bridge, which is where no matter what you're trying to do, you can't seem to get on top of like this workload. So it's affecting your home life. Whether this is your own business, which keeps you busy because it needs your attention 24-7, or this is just more likely working outside the home for someone else. Again, possibly a Virgo individual 
that has severely high expectations. So the broken bridge card is an indication that there is a problem that's really been bothering you. And every way you try to approach it, you're unsuccessful, Sagittarius. So I am going to pull a clarifying card just to see what comes up, Sagittarius. Just in general. Okay. The Ten of Wands. Definitely a card with too much on your plate. But the number 10 energy of this card is an indication that you're at the end of this situation. So it might be something that you do in the near future that puts an end to all this extra work. Maybe you've been applying to a, get a, a different job so that you can have a better work and home life balance. Now, your last card here, Sagittarius, is Beryl. Kind of how you've been feeling right now, that something is lacking in your life, and this could be love. Not necessarily money, but could be. Happiness, this is what you're lacking, your harp card, the great happiness here. Now, the Beryl card showing up is an indication that you're unhappy with some aspect of your life. And it could be something that you can't do anything about it at the moment, but it is important to take a good look at the various aspects of your life and start taking steps to improve the area that you consider lacking, which would be happiness in your life. So if you're working here so long, and hard, long hours, being tired, there's no room left for happiness, pleasure, vacationing. So, yeah. Let me pull a clarifying card to see if we can determine why your Ten of Wands card showed up in the first place, which is an end to the situation. Okay. You received the Ace of Wands. Excellent card, Sagittarius, as the Ace of Wands is an indication there's going to be an opportunity being presented or made available to you. And this could be of your own doing. Because if you're putting out your resume and networking to kind of get out of this existing job, out from under the thumb of this Virgo, you can move on to something that will be more conducive to the lifestyle you want, where you can have a better balance of work and play, you might say. So let me just come back a little bit here, get everything in the view. So just a recap here, Sagittarius, for mid-month in August, your harp card showing up is an indication that this is what you want to come into your life, but something is blocking this from happening. And the clarifying card, Knight of Pentacles. So it's in regards to business, your work, and it could be a Virgo individual that is giving you too much of a workload. As your next card desk is an indication that the work is just kind of piling up. And there seems to be a high demand, which could be coming from this Virgo individual, the Knight of Pentacles. It's a constant energy and flow of work constantly being dropped on your desk, Sagittarius. And your broken bridge card is unsuccessful attempts to maybe put an end to all of this work. You've tried to get out of work on time. Maybe you tried to make some plans to go out on a date, but work has always been the problem. But the clarifying card, the Ten of Wands here, it's an indication you have too much on your plate, Sagittarius, working too much. But this card also indicates with this number 10 energy that the end is near to this situation. And that brings us to your last card here, Beryl. 
definitely how you're feeling right now. But pulling a clarifying card, just kind of curious why the Ten of Wands came up. That's you received the Ace of Wands. So there's going to be some opportunity, some situation, something where you're going to begin getting out of this work situation where it's all work and no play. So the Ace of Wands has all new growth on it. It's a gift from the divine. So it can mean that you're taking your first steps to put your resume out there, networking with others around you to find a better job. And that will indeed then allow for a greater amount of happiness to be able to come into your life. So Sagittarius, that was the messages coming in for your August mid-month tea leaf card fortune reading. Give me a thumbs up if you like the reading and want me to continue with the tea leaf readings twice a month. It would be at the beginning of the month and then also mid-month. Thank you so much for joining me today and be sure to check out my website if you're interested in a private tarot card reading. Love and abundance to my Sagittarius family.